In an all-day CBS 42 special report, we're uncovering the truth about Alabama. It's no secret that the auto manufacturing industry has put Alabama on the map. In 2018, companies in the automobile manufacturing sector announced plans to invest nearly $3.3 billion in Alabama projects, creating around 5,500 jobs. State Capitol reporter Rashad Hudson has the Made in Alabama story. 22 years ago, not a single car was made here in Alabama. Now over 1 million cars are produced annually. In 1993, the German automaker Mercedes set its sights on Vance. That vision has led to Honda, Hyundai, and now Toyota Mazda opening up shop in Alabama. We got a chance to go inside the Hyundai plant in Montgomery to see the products made in Alabama. I installed the bumpers to installing the seats to installing the cow side trim and every day is a different thing. We met Simeon Soval. He's worked at Hyundai for 13 years. It's not only been a safe environment here, but it's also been a, a fun place to work as well. The team members had not been in an automotive facility before, but they've been in other different jobs and basically we got to train them on how to build a vehicle. About 50,000 people are employed in the auto industry in the state, and Robert Burns, a VP at Hyundai, says this means billions for the state. In 2014, we did our own economic impact survey, and the plant has a $4.8 billion economic impact on the state of Alabama. What do we love more than a big win in Alabama? Two big wins, Mazda and Toyota. Construction has already started on the Toyota Mazda plant in North Alabama. It will employ up to 4,000 workers once it opens in 2021. Alabama's Secretary of Commerce, Greg Canfield, says this only adds to the state's global footprint. We're actually producing vehicles that are being sold in 89 countries today. Many people criticize the state when it comes to making deals, saying it gives away too much in incentives. It's a notion that Canfield rejects. I say uh, if you look at a $60 billion annual impact from the automotive industry, and, and th those are numbers that we're taking and extrapolating from the recent data provided to us by Honda, um, I, I would say that that argument really doesn't hold water. Uh, our incentive approach today is a smart approach anyway. Kenfield says the smart approach is why Alabamians are benefiting from the auto industry. Never before have Alabamians been earning, on average, more than they do today. And a large part of that success, a large part of that increase in earning that is being experienced across the state is due to Alabama's position in the automotive sector. As early as 2022, Alabama could become the number two auto producing state in the country. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.